79 years ago today, on the beaches and in the skies of Normandy, hundreds of thousands of Allied and American troops took part in the largest amphibious invasion in history. 4,500 Allied troops and over 2,500 Americans made the ultimate sacrifice in order to safeguard liberty and ensure a better future for generations to come. We are forever in their debt. These brave souls knew not the carnage they were to face, but they pressed on regardless. Their courage, sacrifice, and honor led to our ultimate victory in World War II and helped establish the free, democratic society we all share today. As Eisenhower so eloquently stated to the troops embarking on this great crusade for freedom, quote, the eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms and on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world." End quote. May we never forget the individuals that made those words a reality. Although the surviving members of that greatest generation dwindle in number every day, their heroism left an indelible mark and the entire free world is forever indebted to them. Our brave men and women in uniform honor their legacy each day through their selfless sacrifices to defend our homeland and advance the beacon of freedom. One out of every two households in New York's 17th District has a veteran service member, law enforcement officer, or a first responder living in it. I am so grateful to represent this community of heroes, and I will always have their backs. Last week, I met with senior leadership at the Montrose VA Center to ensure that the services being provided at Castle Point are also available at Montrose so that all of our veterans across the Hudson Valley get the care they deserve. And last week, Congress passed and the President signed H.R. 3746, our bipartisan debt ceiling deal to avoid default and tackle government spending. The legislation honors our commitment to safeguard the benefits so many of our veterans rely on and have earned. I'm also glad that the House Appropriations Committee has committed to increasing funding for the Department of Veterans Affairs by $18 billion above last year's budget. This will provide $152 billion in discretionary spending for the agency, an increase of nearly $10 billion from what the White House previously requested. As we remember the sacrifices of our heroes at D-Day, let us honor their memory by not taking our freedoms for granted and honoring those serving in our armed forces who put their lives on the line every day to safeguard our freedoms. May God watch over you and your families, and may God continue to bless the United States of America.